Hey guys, it's Michelle. I'm here with Dennis Fabian from Head, and we are on the practice courts. We're making history again, Dennis. This is year number two making history. Is it? I think so. Maybe three or four. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, we are watching Rublev practice right now, and Dennis is going to chat with me about his specs, his setup, his racket, his string, all the things as we watch him practice. Right? Yes. Okay. That, that's the plan, yeah. I'm super excited. I saw him practice yesterday and he is just mashing the ball. Yeah, it's it's incredible. I mean when we when we have those guys, for example, also at our photo shoots for campaigns and stuff and they need to hit balls, it's like last year I was lucky enough to actually hit a few balls with them too. And like the heaviness of the ball is just incredible. Like it's like crazy. even even if they don't go full speed or full swing, it's uh, you, you truly see they are pro athletes and like if, if somebody is wondering like where it's coming from it's like it's those practice sessions here and it goes through every stroke and like, yeah you know. I was gonna say there's a lot of players on tour that you know like Rafa always comes to mind they always talk about how he's always practicing full out and Rublev also seems to be one of those players there's never like him holding back at least not that I've seen no. He's just going full on out and he's just um, hitting a big ball. It's, it's full full intensity and like, uh, I mean, that's why those guys are top top 10, top five partly in the world. I yeah. think that makes a difference because I think every one of those, those, those players, they are like, anyway, they all can play tennis, you know, there's, there's not like if you watch them, you, you don't see necessarily the full difference in, in the practice sessions between a top five and a top hundred guy. But the intensity, the dedication, the, the love for detail, mm -hmm. that, that probably makes a difference. I would, I would think it's my, my assumption at least. Right. Well, and what's also cool about Rublev is I've noticed we're lucky we're watching his practice on one of the stadium courts. We're on Stadium 4 and it's going to fill up because this guy has so many fans. Oh, yeah. And like young kids are looking oh, up yes. to him, which is yes. cool. Yes. I think he's, he's very engaged with his fans overall. Um, he's a super humble guy off the court. Um, really, really nice. And sometimes it doesn't come across like this on court. Yeah. I think that's probably where a lot of our uh, viewers right now will, will agree on, which is a little bit of a pity, but like he, he's such a nice guy and like really, really dedicated, engaged with his fans. He does a lot of uh, charity stuff, especially for kids. And that, that impresses me every single time. I mean, if these guys are, are doing things and giving things back mm -hmm. to the community, to whatever, wherever their heart sits, um, mm -hmm. I think that's, that's great. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, well, let's get into what he's hitting with right now because I would love to know a little bit more about his gravity racket, his string setup. So tell us as much as you can. Yeah, he's, he's obviously, as you say, he's representing the gravity line of ours. Um, he's playing an 1820 string pattern okay, for that like that, that. Yeah, exactly. With the power he's hitting, he, he needs that control. Yeah. Um, he is actually hitting a pretty heavy racket. Like it's obviously customized to his specs for, for his needs. He's actually hitting a pretty heavy racket with a relatively low balance and, and not even a crazy high swing weight. But that, that makes it possible for him to, to yeah, rip the ball mm -hmm. as he does and mm -hmm. like do all his wrist movements and, and stuff he does and swing it fast. And yeah, that, that kind of, th those specs totally make sense for him. And from, from a string perspective and also grip, like he's a full head guy. Yeah. Um, so probably the fans of yours and, and <laughs> listeners and, and TW forum readers, they all know that he, uh, in his uh, previous years, he has also been with, uh, with one of our competitors. And he made the switch a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, he started with the racket, then the grip, <laughs> then the string now. So we did a lot of testing with him and finally one of your favorite strings yeah. as well, at least of the TW team with the Lynx Tour, uh, became his go-to string as well. And he's using the, the Prime Tour grip. Oh, nice. So like he's a, he's a full, full, full head all guy. Head. Yes, all How long head. has he been working with you guys? It's been a couple of years? That's a good question. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's probably, I would think it's like four years now, okay. or something like that. Yeah, was he's, Gravity the first one yeah. he started with? Yes, okay. yes. That's, uh, I think also his friendship with, with uh, Sasha Zverev mm -hmm. like kind of uh, made him test the rackets and, and stuff. And uh, he was looking for like a, like a dedicated team that takes care of him and, and not 
again, like I'm, I'm not that type of person who would uh, put anything out there on our competitors, but maybe it wasn't what he was expecting or like our team made it a little bit more effortless for him on like getting his wishes through. Um, but yeah, he's very dedicated to his equipment. So yeah. he wants to know pretty much everything about his racket and he's also very, um, yeah, taking care of his equipment. Um, in, in a sense of like uh, how he wraps his grip, uh, how much uh, finishing tape he puts on it, all this stuff. So you just hear like the fans here cheering. I don't know if they will still hear me on the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> they love him, they love. Oh yeah, like people are lining up right now here with like the, <laughs> the actually pen balls, the small pen balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we, are, we are also the official. I see some big ones too. <laughs> yeah. We are the official ball sponsor as well. And now you can see him like ripping the forehand and you probably hear oh, that, that sound the, uh, in the okay. back. This is actually my favorite yeah, part yes. of the practice session. He's just going all stuff. in. Like. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, his ball speed and, and the, the rotation on the ball, the heaviness is, is ridiculous. Obviously it's all done by the head product he's using. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do we know who he's playing next? Oh um, my gosh, no, that was in. I don't know the schedule. I was actually. gonna say, I'm curious. I know, I know that Yannick Zinner will be on on center court in like 30 minutes oh for man, his first okay, round okay. match. I think he's playing Kokinakis. Nice. He's actually also a full head person. So right now with Rublev, Zverev, um, Taylor Fritz, and with um, Yannick Zinner, we have four top 10 players that are actually also using our strings and grips. That's pretty amazing. Um, the only top 10 player who is not yet using our strings is Novak. Um, but you see that how we improved our product lineup and how we started to be dedicated to all the accessories around the racket as well. And probably also 95% of all juniors we have under contract, they use full head equipment by now. Um, so we really made some major steps forward. Uh, I think you see it, and when I when I read through the TW forum, sometimes I would love to comment on certain <laughs> things and give my insights and everything, but I just can't. I, know, I need to hold myself back everything. because it's it would be killing me probably um, <laughs> because everyone would ask questions and stuff, which actually I like. I mean, I saw it last year when we did the YouTube video, yeah, where people I tr try to reply to a couple of them. People love it. <laughs> they love it. Uh, but, uh, do you want to go through the other top the Fritz setup, the center yes. setup. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Yannick is play, playing the Hawk Touch string, um, full setup. Okay. Uh, he is playing a 16, 19 string pattern. Okay. Um, he actually strings. So, he's the opposite of of, of Andre basically. He oh, did you tell us what Rublo is stringing at? What tension? Do are we allowed to um, know that? Oh, okay. He's in his uh, like low 50s okay. uh, somewhat. Uh, I would need to actually check. I mean, we are the official streaming service, as you all know as well. So I can, I can check it out mm -hmm. and, and put it into the comments. Okay. <laughs> I'll um, put it in the show notes. <laughs> I, I just know like um, like Yannick is playing actually a pretty um, low weight racket, okay. like nearly nearly off the shelf okay. specs, uh, which is crazy actually yeah. for a guy like him also hitting a super heavy ball. Yeah. Um, stringing super tight, okay. <laughs> uh, high, high, high 20 kilos, okay. like 28 partly, with full hawk touch setup. He's using the Prestige Pro grip. Um, he wants that extra tackiness. Mm -hmm. um, Taylor obviously uses our Pro grip, um, and he uses Hawk um, as as his um, polyester strings in a hybrid setup. So he's okay. also using natural gut. Yeah. Um, same as uh, Zasha Swerov, also using natural gut with a hawk touch. And also prime tour okay. for, for him. So nice. yeah. Do you think he's gonna hit a little bit more? It looks like he's not done. He's kind of playing nice. actually with his rackets or set up right now. You were talking yeah, about. I, I talked about the dedication. <laughs> so he yes, obviously yeah. doesn't like uh, how his grips are wrapped. So he's, he's just changing it right oh, now. Inter wait, interesting. And some of the head players you were mentioning to me use double over grip. Do you know if he's one of them? Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, he, just single. He doesn't, yeah. It, it all depends, I think, on the, the personal preference, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you don't, you, like, everyone is, who's, whoever plays tennis knows, like, how important it is that you feel comfortable how you touch the grip. And I don't think there is a wrong or right. We, we have, once I was at the stringing room and, and I got the racket of a right-handed player, mm -hmm. uh, on a left-handed player, and he wrapped his grip like a right-handed player. And I was like, why don't you... Yeah, I don't like the other way. I need it this Weird. way, which is interesting yeah. to see. Like usually the left-handed ones, they also wrap yeah. the other way. Yeah. So, yeah, 
which is for customizers it can be tough so for example if you if you there you see like now he is uh, <laughs> handing his rackets uh, to his coach with a string um, probably dropping them off at the stringing service pretty pretty soon these guys most of them have several fresh rackets for every match and yeah. i know out here especially it seems like they're changing rackets with every ball change yeah. yeah yeah it's like usually they go like depending on the player and so they are usually at like six to eight rackets yeah they take on court um, this year, actually, what we know from the stringing service is that players are not switching tension that much okay. because the, the weather has been pretty consistent, yeah. aside from like the last two nights, but like that's where those guys weren't playing anymore. So we don't see a lot of up and downs in the stringing room right now on tensions. Um, are there well, any new trends? Are you, it's still early in the tournament. It's still early in the tournament. Overall, we see like, like with the players who play full poly setup, they go rather a little bit lower in tension. Okay. Some of them, depending on surface, balls, weather, some of them even tend to start pre-stretching poly strings, okay. which is that makes I would not recommend to a regular consumer um, because it actually makes the string more dead, less lively. Um, you will gain more control, but it's not perfect for your elbow or for your shoulder, for your arm. But as these guys, they do a practice session and mm -hmm. they drop off the racket. Mm -hmm. So if, if a regular consumer who maybe strings every four to six weeks would do a pre-stretch on poly, yeah. there is definitely the danger, the right. danger. I'm not saying it's happening, but like there is a danger of getting injur injuries. It is really cool to see him actually <laughs> regrip his own. Yeah, but like, <laughs> I know a lot of players that are ranked yeah. a lot higher than him that won't even touch their rackets. Yeah, but like even those players who don't wrap their grips by themselves, they have clear instructions to their customizers or stringers on how they want it oh, to be I'm done. Sure. So like, uh, <laughs> like if you if you look at Novak, how he grips his, his racket, he exactly like there are spots where it needs to be. So they all feel the same. It's, for them, every change is not good, so they want full consistency. So it's kind of cool, actually. So he's re-gripping, and then he's putting the plastic over the grip yeah, because, because he'll send it because to the stringer. Correct. Yeah, correct. and he and then, wants to keep the grip clean. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's something we actually see quite often, or where, um, where players drop it off with the plastic foil on it. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, let's talk real quick about the bag situation. Uh, you guys, I'm loving the 2024 head bags. Do you guys give any guidance to the pros what they can carry or did, can they pick their colors? Or? No, it's like actually we, um, actually we have like the team head bags basically. And right, then we the usually, team. usually the, what we do is um, a couple months before the new season starts, we sit down and like obviously you need to plan this out with a couple hundred players as being sponsored on tour mm -hmm. worldwide with distribution and stuff. So we really plan out which bags will be carried at what which tournament and when they get it and all this. Okay. Obviously there are some players that have the entitlement by the time to kind of make their comments or selections. What we definitely do is that we listen to the players in terms of the needs, the size of the bag, the inner pockets. Um, the CCT Plus, like to, to protect the frames from mm -hmm. the heat and stuff, which is here, super important. Yeah, we, we try to like include them into the, into the development as much as we can, but not only, obviously. We try to gather as many opinions as we can get. I mean, so. Nice. But well, it's definitely pla planned out, like there is a full launch plan on it when, when the players are carrying which color and. and and that's something cool that players of any level can actually match their bag to their favorite pros. And I'm yes. sure a bunch yes. of people of are buying. Are, <laughs> all of them are available. The only difference yeah. is that uh, there might be the team head logo on it. Um, so that's kind of the, yeah, for the pros or for the sponsored athletes so that they are not available to the public to buy. But the bags themselves are exactly. the bags they're looking at, yeah. Well, it looks like Rublev is wrapping it up. He's yeah. signing for a bunch of people right now. He might be here for a while, but he kind of seems like that kind of guy that like will make sure everyone gets taken care of, yeah. which is really yeah. cool. I mean, it's always great to see athletes, not only Andre, but like many others that like know where it's all coming from, you know? Yeah. The fans, like the, the whole sport is like living up from Aww. athletes, from the fans, from the tournament, from, from us, from the industry, you guys, retail side and, and all the activities we do. So it's. It all, the puzzle comes together and if it's... And this tournament here is actually a good example of how it should be and, and can be working. Obviously the environment helps a lot. Yeah. 
there are worse places to play tennis or to do, <laughs> or to do uh, videos or podcasts with uh, you guys. <laughs> Well, I guess that, what, that wraps this practice up, that wraps this chat up. We might go check out some other head players, but if you want to get Rublev's setup, come to tenniswarehouse.com and you know that Dennis is going to be on more videos with us. So stay tuned, keep watching our YouTube channel, and that's it for us. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle.